Hey, I'm Sean. Nice to meet you all. This is my energy, let's get used to it. And we're ready, here we go. I'm really happy to be in Montreal, it's really fun. It's really a great city. I do feel disrespectful because I do not know any French at all. The only French I know is Zoe Deschanel. So, I've just been saying that over and over. Confusing everyone. My best friend just got married, that was cool. I'd never been to a bachelor party before, I was really excited, I'm like, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be crazy? He was like, it's gonna be insane. We're gonna go skydiving. And I was like, that's retarded. <laughs> and he was like, why? I'm like, cause we could die. And he was like, yeah, I know, I don't wanna get married. <laughs> and, okay, okay. I live with my girlfriend, we're probably gonna have to get engaged, that seems right. My girlfriend told me a good engagement ring costs $50,000. She said that to me, a person she loves. I'm researching engagement rings. I found out my girlfriend is a fucking dickhead. They are so much cheaper. For $50,000, you get a pretty good jet pack, like a pretty good one. Not like say the art or anything, but a pretty good one. Then when your girlfriend's like, why won't you marry me? You jet pack out of there, We. Didn't know I could fly so high. <laughs> I was just in Austin, Texas, and I went out to a professional business center with my friend Jared to a place called Bikinis. And at Bikinis, what it happens is the waitresses wear bikinis. And it was fun. I was like, dope. That's what I said. <laughs> I never used the word before, and I loved it. It felt right. So we sit down. Waitress comes up in a bikini, no false advertising. She goes, what y'all having a drink? I say a Diet Coke. My friend Jared says a Texas trip where she walks away. She comes back 25 minutes later, no drinks, and goes, I'm all out of sorts. What were you having to drink again? I say Diet Coke. He says a Texas tripper. She walks away again. She comes back 43 minutes later, no drinks. And I realized at that moment, had she been wearing a shirt, she would have been the worst waitress of all time. <laughs> but she wasn't, so top 10 ever. Like, she's pretty good. She should be on the cover of Waitress Magazine. She is good. She got the goods. Let's talk about music. My favorite thing about music right now is Kesha. I love Kesha. Oh my God, I love Kesha. For those of you who don't know who Kesha is, she's the new Beatles. And, uh, <laughs> She's incredible. I went to see Kesha Live. It was the best night of my entire life. Her audience is so diverse. There was like me and then 9,000 teenage girls. I'm like, oh, we're all the same, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> they were all the same. They were all the same. They were all like the same girl. They were all 15 and trying to be slutty but had no idea how to do it. <laughs> they were going up to guys and like, you could put it wherever you want, whatever that means. It's like, you're not gonna like what that means. <laughs> it means the butt. <laughs> Well, that's fun. <laughs> then Kesha came out, and it was the greatest concert I've ever been to. It was so great. Oh my God, I'm just thinking about it now, and I'm smiling. In the middle of the seventh song, which is about how her vagina is a gold trans am. <laughs> I'm not making that up. The chorus goes, wham, bam, thank you, man. You want to take a ride in my gold trans am? It's subtext, guys. She's blonde, gold, trans am, used up. I get it. So, <laughs> in the middle of that song, in the middle of the song, this happened. It was the greatest thing that's ever happened at any concert, I'm sure. She hits the chorus and then she goes, stop! And all the musicians stopped. And me and the other teenage girls all stopped. <laughs> because our queen was about to speak. <laughs> and she goes, I just realized something. And we're like, what did she just realize in the middle of her song about how her pussy's a gold trans am? <laughs> She's good at multitasking. And she goes, I just realized there's not enough glitter on these titties. 
And then a guy with a bucket came out <laughs> and poured so much glitter on those titties, he saved the concert. <laughs> so I Googled it to see if it was like the one show where Kesha didn't remember to put up glitties on those titties. No, it happened at all 83 shows. <laughs> that was a guy's job. That's definitely a job you get on Craigslist. Where it's like, must have own bucket. He's like, I got a bucket. <laughs> Thank you guys, I'm Sean O'Connor. Have a good night. <laughs>